The truly terrible news is coming from the western part of Ukraine. A large splash of radiation has been recorded in this part of the country, and according to the latest data, this radioactive cloud has already covered the entire eastern part of Poland and is slowly moving deeper into Europe. The worst thing is that these data are carefully hidden from the public, and the Western media suppresses any attempts to inform the population about what is happening. Today, watching an interview with a military expert and independent correspondent, Yuri Podolyak, I was really horrified. According to him, the Russian aerospace forces have been launching missile strikes against NATO weapons depots in the western part of Ukraine for several days. According to available information, a few days ago in the city of Khmelnytsky in the western part of Ukraine, the Russians managed to destroy a warehouse with depleted uranium shells intended for strikes on the territory of Russia. The number of these shells was so large that the effect of their destruction caused a radioactive cloud, and the radiation level in the region increased seven times. It was the destruction of almost all depleted uranium shells sent to Ukraine that caused London's decision to send storm shadow missiles to the Kiev regime. Here it is necessary to note a very important fact, London sent these missiles to the detriment of its own army, which has already significantly weakened against the background of unprecedented military assistance to Ukraine. Returning to the topic of the radioactive cloud, it is also worth noting the anomalous east wind, which has not changed its direction for more than a week, rapidly directing all radiation into the depths of Europe. Professional dosimetrists call this incident a real disaster and urge the EU authorities not to hide anything from the population. According to them, if the wind direction does not change, then all the radiation will settle in European cities. And this can lead to very disastrous consequences. Unfortunately, radiation has neither smell nor color, and therefore, without special means, it will be impossible to determine its exact amount and direction. Military analyst Yuri Podolyak is confident that the EU authorities will continue to remain silent, and that now ordinary people can only hope for the wind, which can change the direction of the radioactive cloud. Earlier, the secretary of the Russian Security Council, Nikolai Patrushev, also said that a radioactive cloud is rapidly heading to Europe from Ukraine. After all the depots with depleted uranium shells were destroyed in the cities of western Ukraine, the resulting radioactive cloud began to move rapidly toward Europe. God help innocent people, Nikolai Patrushev said. Well, my friends, as you can see, a real escalation of the conflict is taking place before our eyes. And only God knows what awaits us all ahead.